I stay here with Alistair over ring. Alistair, first of all, welcome back to Japan. Uh, what is your feelings to coming back and now, now as a guest, not as a, a fighter competing? Yeah, it's um, it's uh, I have a you know a special emotion about uh, Japan. It's always special to come here. I remember that my first trip here was in '99. It's 18 years ago, so I have a long uh, history here, a long history of eating sushi, a long history of Japanese fans um, walking the streets in Tokyo. So I love coming here and um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of memories, a lot of different promotions, a lot of fighters, coaches, a lot of experiences here. So we, uh, we continue and um, now here with the UFC, yet another new promotion. Um, I'm very curious about the show, but I'm very curious about the fans, how, how the energy will be. If it, if it can capture the same energy as the previous shows, Pride and uh, K1. Uh, of course, this is a little bit a different audience than the American audience or the the, the Brazilian audience. But uh, but I'm sure they have uh, a great fight card. And um, yeah, my friend Gokasaki is, is is always good for accents. So it's um, going to be a great event, I'm sure, Saturday morning. Yeah, you mentioned that Gokasaki he make a, his debut, and also a couple of years before you done the, that thing. Uh, what are kind of recommendations you can do? Did you uh, tell Saki or have a conversation with him about, about that? Saki is a very intelligent fighter. Saki, um, at the time of the K1, was very, very ahead of the game with a lot of technical aspects. I would say that um, he is uh, the most technical K1 heavyweight and light heavyweight, for that matter. Uh, his speed, his, his, his combinations, he's actually a light heavyweight, but he was fighting heavyweight, he was fighting the big guys. So, um, I have full confidence in, in him and his team that he will do great in analyzing the game and analyzing what he needs to get the victory this Saturday. And talking about you, uh, what what do you see the, the scenario now in the heavyweight division? You fought uh, Stipe Miocic before, but but now uh, we not have uh, much definition because uh, you know uh, Dana White says that the Miocic maybe can fight John Jones, but John Jones uh, he's have a problems with Usada. But do you think uh, you still on the line, or maybe uh, you you have a take a one one fight again? Well, uh, I'm ranked number one right now. Um, <clears throat> to me, uh, it's very simple. Either I will fight for the title next, or I will fight somebody else, and then I will win, and then I will fight for the title after. Um, yeah, there's some some talk of me versus Francis. That can that's a possibility. But to me, um, my obligation is is to stay healthy, to stay fit, and to be ready uh, for when the date will come. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we we see much fighters coming uh, as commentator. Uh, did you have uh, uh, did you have these plans uh, uh, to to take a commentary? You, you done a, a job uh, recently in Glory Amsterdam, I guess. Uh, did you want to do that with the UFC? Too? I've uh, I've done some commentating for MMA and for kickboxing, but um, my future is not there. I believe. And what's your prediction about the woman's fight, uh, Jessica and Claudia? What, do you have a prediction? It's a very good fight. I'm actually very excited about it. Uh, Claudia Delga is training with, with us at um, uh, Jackson's MMA in Albuquerque. So she's technically a teammate. Um, of course, rooting for the teammate. And I'm going to look forward to this fight. And the, my, my last question. Uh, we saw everything changing in MMA, especially like uh, Conor McGregor coming and, and do a lot. Uh, promotion stuff, especially he comes to the boxing. Uh, did you have a, that inter interesting? Maybe making a boxing fight or something like that? Well, uh, I actually have actually already did that. If you um, know or not know, I was in the K1 here in Japan. I fight K1. Um, we did pretty good, if I can say so myself. And now we're back in MMA in the UFC, the biggest promotion in the world. So to me, um, do I still have ambitions? Not really. But never say never.